More than 2,000 medicines currently shipped to Northern Ireland are on the verge of being withdrawn as a result of problems resulting from the controversial knee protocol, a trade organisation has warned, and Mark Samuels, the chief executive of the British Generic Manufacturers Association BGMA, has urged both the UK and the EU to work together to identify a solution which will cut through the red tape in order to ensure regular supplies to the region are able to resume. Under the terms of the protocol, which is intended to prevent a hard border on the island of Ireland, Northern Ireland remains within the bloc's pharmaceutical regulatory system. Most pharmaceuticals come from Great Britain, but this process has become more difficult since January as a result of the added paperwork and bureaucracy involved. In his statement, issued after Lord David Frost called for the EU to agree to renegotiate the arrangements, Mr Samuels said, We welcome the government's attempt to find a solution to medicines supply for Northern Ireland, however the situation is dragging on too long. We need both sides to agree a resolution for Northern Ireland immediately. Over many months, we have been vocal about the need for companies to know the regulatory rules for which they need to plan. Without an agreement between the government and the EU, uncertainty prevents manufacturers from planning. He explained, the manufacturing, quality control and supply chain for medicines are highly complex, they cannot be re-engineered overnight. Four out of five drugs used by the NHS are generic medicines, and this large scale exacerbates the supply chain complexity. The industry delivered high volumes of medicines at low prices with small commercial margins, Mr. Samuels pointed out. He added, it thrives on simplicity and efficiency but is now caught in a complicated situation with Northern Ireland, which under the protocol is treated as part of the EU, requiring different medicines regulation rules to the rest of Great Britain.